He is the tin foil chef, a man with a video love. Greetings all. Once again in the corner on the bike, or well, sitting behind it actually. You know how that works. It doesn't have a seat on it anymore, so I sit behind it on a chair. Still pedaling away. Still averaging the same 12 miles an hour I used to average. Uh, see, I got my laptop on the table here next to me with some notes open, so I actually know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've never thought. Actually, knowing what I'm talking about. Imagine that. Uh, let's see. Since yesterday's question of the day was, "What is your question?" There actually, were a couple of questions. Let's see, Randall Anonymous asks, "Your house doesn't have AC? I would be dying." Uh, well. <laughs> As I uh, said in the comments, I do have AC. The thing is, call me a cheap so-and-so, but I don't want to run it unless I absolutely have to. I want to try to keep the electric bill down. It's actually been down pretty low the last couple of months. And I want to see how far into the summer I can get keeping it that way. If it gets bad enough, I'll turn the AC on. But Oh, Lord, I don't want to do that. That's just a way to make the electric meter spin like a propeller. Emus of Verge 2 asks, Have I always been overweight, or were I, was I a skinny kid? And I can elaborate on the answer I gave for that one in the comments. Yes, when I was 17, I was one of those kids that could stand behind a telephone pole and hide. Uh, I've always been skinny and almost underweight even until into my early 30s that started to change and I think that's mostly when my metabolism started slowing down and to a good degree when I stopped being quite so physically active as I used to be even then it wasn't necessarily bad my weight settled in around 200 for oh, several years and then Let's see, when I was 35, 37, around in there, I was weighing around 245, which a little high, but still not too bad. A little bit of a spare tire, but not a really big deal. Most of my big major weight gain happened in the last five years or so. I'm at the point now where I'm trying to reverse that, I'm trying to increase the physical activity so that I can jack the metabolism up and burn some of this back off, like 150 pounds of it. I'm finding out that it is so much more difficult to reverse the damage than it was to cause it in the first place. And of course, I can't mention weight loss without saying congratulations to the winners of the Olinsalos contest. That being Fat Man Getting Skinny in first place, Melville 08 in second place, Joshua D1000 in third, with the Spirit Award going to Xander Toxic and Cross Pecans, and Drunken Irishman 85 picking up the Entertainer Award. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Really great. And may Joshua D1000's Fat Loss Contest be as good or better regardless of who walks away with the prize. I mentioned of Junkin Irishman 85. Uh, that reminds me, I've seen two videos now where he's talking about propaganda number seven, one in which he announced he was getting ready, he was collecting material for it, and another one where he's actually talking about the, the idea of shelving or just dropping the thing. And I'll tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of looking forward to seeing that next propaganda. So, if you haven't PM'd him with some with videos for it, then by all means do so. And I've been thinking about something. Because, uh, from what I can tell, Sir Gorf seems to be gaining a certain amount of popularity. 
I don't know, maybe I'm just reading it wrong, but it certainly seems that way to me. So, for a question of the day, should I have at least one video per week that is done entirely by Sir Dorf? I'd be interested to know what y'all think about that idea. And then, of course, there's the exercise thing. I hope you can tell I'm doing the bike, because I, I can't reach the camera right now and bring it down to show you. I also did my treadmill time, such as it is. I managed to get to three and a half minutes before I had to stop. I'm going to have to edit the daylights out of this because I can just barely see the camera's display. I've got almost 12 minutes of video here, so I'm going to shut up before I have to edit myself down to almost nothing. Take it easy. He is the gentle chef, and the frog just doesn't give a shit. Hello all, it's Wednesday, May the 26th. You know, I do believe that committing to showing at least part of his daily exercise in each day's video is helping because the boob seems to be less reluctant to actually do the exercise in the first place. On the other hand, while it's great to see the boob showing signs of consistency with exercise, he is still immersed in that wave of Star Trek nostalgia he's been into for the past couple of weeks. I swear, if I have to watch the Doomsday Machine one more time, I don't know what I'll do. The boob is, however, showing an unusual level of observational skills and intelligence in suggesting that I do at least one video a week myself, and I do hope that it actually happens. Perhaps it would help if you would all submit questions that you would like me to answer. If there were enough of them, the boob would then be in a position where he would have to consent. The end result being that the entertainment value and overall quality of the channel would increase considerably. I would even agree to get more involved in his Star Trek themed videos if it meant having one to do with his IC fit every week. And speaking of questions, in addition to the question of the day, Leonard has a question as well. Well, um, my, my question is, what the hell am I going to do about these most obviously deceased plants behind me? It's, it's, uh, it's very important. I thought perhaps he could force-feed them to that bloody annoying orange. Really, it is a ghastly creature. At the very least, someone should get a juicer and put him out of our misery. There are 11 new subscribers. Mary Jane 1120. Super Rock 1989. Official TV channel. X6VI93RX. Mr. Johnny Nicoletis. Hardyman 121, Bookworm 13130, Chocolate Guy 72476, Fat Man Walking, Silent Bomber, and Sage Free Tibet. Welcome and thank you all very much for subscribing. The previous question of the day What is your question? Today's question of the day, should Sir Gorf do at least one solo video per week? The dirty word of the day, annoying. Mr. Tenfold Chef.